It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham Police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence of Gotham has... Nearly fell off a building for this? So important. District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. 
People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will.
Where are you, Oz? Thank you, sir. you, but no odds. Hey. Beat it. isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard it, man. What the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. in the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, all right. Been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, 
I am trying to recognise the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. 
And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, my hope is in Harvey to make sure a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. 